Okay, now let's try to implement the same question using T flip flops. Okay, in T flip flops, okay, your D flip flop was a pretty straightforward one, right? For the next state, just look at the excitation tables here. If you want to have zero in the end, you need to have zero provided as input, and this is called the reset operation. And if you want to have one in the end, if you provide here one, that's the only way, and this is called set operation. D flip flop was pretty straightforward, right? But for T flip flop, which is uh, also called the uh, toggle flip flop, and uh, it is uh, operating like this. If you provide here zero in the next state, it will keep its current state, that's it, which is called no change operation. And if you provide this flip flop as one, as T input, it will toggle it. It will, it will look at this, toggle the result or switch the result or invert the result of your previous state, which is called complement operation. So this is how we will make our these uh, with T flip flops this time, okay? Again, we're designing a mod tree accumulator, this time using what? T flip flops. And just remember our excitation table here, zero is for no change and one for inverting or toggling. Our state diagram will be the same. It's a more state diagram again, okay? More state diagram, which was very nice. And this setup is very nice as well. It's in it's in uh, gray coding order, and your outputs would be exactly the same, all right. But this time you you need to be careful about your state table. But here in this state table, be careful. You need to go from zero to zero with zero. That's it. For, from zero to zero, zero is nice. But you need to have uh, uh, if you want to, uh, uh, I mean, go from zero to one, you need to uh, toggle it with one, which is great. But if you uh, need to go from zero to one, you need to toggle it. And if you f go want to go from zero to zero, you don't need to do anything. Okay, that's it. So zero, so everything is perfect. How about the second row here? If you want to go from zero to zero, you provide here uh, nothing, but going from one to one, look at this, be careful. Going from one to one is, requires a zero here, right? All right, because we're trying to go from one to one here. Okay, look at this now for the second one. You're trying to go from zero to one and one to zero. It means that both should be one, right? because they're both toggling here, means that this one should also be one. All right, how about X? They're the same. And how about this? Going from zero to zero requires zero. And going from one to zero, be careful, requires toggling, right? So I put here one here. You need to provide this value for for uh, this purpose, to have this in the next state. X row is perfectly the same. And how about the um, next state uh, inputs for going from one zero to one zero? Look at this, they should be both zero, right? Because they, we're keeping it the same. So this should be zero. Going from one zero to one one requires um, requires toggling right right here this one is perfect but this one requires toggling here so i need to provide here one again and how about this this one x is the same but going from okay zero to one and one to zero it means that i'm toggling both of them again here so again that should be also one Perfect, perfect, all right. Now, when I have this, now I need to put my two T flip-flops here with this in the same manner as I did for D flip-flops. So these are my, okay, uh, next state input equations required 
for this purpose. So I will have my T1 flip-flop here and I will have my T0 flip-flop here and here I will have my Y1, Y0, X1, X0. I will have Y1, Y0, X1, oops, X1, X0 inputs. All right, so 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 here. Perfect. Perfect. All right, all right. So I just transfer them like this, this one, this one, this one, and this one in order. I put them in their corresponding places, 0, 0, x, 0, 0, 0, x, 0, then 0, 1, this one is 0, 1, x, 1, 0, 1, x, 1, and then this one is all axes, and finally the last row is corresponding row, I'm sorry, corresponding column is 1, 0, x, 1. 1, 0, x, 1. All right, this is for uh, for uh, the uh, object eraser. Let me get you. Okay, okay, wonderful. And I do the same for T0 this time, right? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So what you have will be here T flip flops. Now I focus on this. Um, it's uh, zero zero x zero 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 x zero, and the other one should be one one x zero. And the other one should be x, 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 this one. And the other one should be 0, 1, x, 1. 0, 1, x, 1. All right. So when we make the uh, necessary, I mean, uh, necessary optimization here, drawing the largest squares possible, this one and that's one I think right so I think that makes sense for uh, t1 input that should be okay I focus on this one now which is y0 x0 and this one is plus y1 x0 plus this one is y1, y0 not, x1, all right. Now I do the same for getting the largest rectangles as possible. This, and this is I think interesting. So here for t0, you will have this one is y1 not x0 plus and this one is y0 x1 plus this one is y1 x1 all right now i have my flip flop input equations and i have my I have my, um, I mean, uh, I have my uh, output equations, that's it. And when I build a circuit like this, it would be pretty the same. It will have their combinational parts right here. And uh, it, 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 it works uh, pretty all right, pretty similar way, in a pretty similar way. But this time designed with T flip-flops all right and how about the gate input cost of this circuit 
that should be the gate input cost of this circuit should be uh, 3, 3, 2 into 3, 2, 2, 2 into 3, which is uh, your gate input cost of combinational part will be, okay, this one is 11, this one is 9, uh, D, D, D. gate input cost should be <laughs> no I think uh, I made a very very silly mistake here look at this these are two right two 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 into three so your cost should be right here it should be nine again this part would be nine again right nine nine gate input cost would be uh, 18 and gate input cost with nuts is y0 is inverted y1 is also inverted and that's it nothing else so gate input cost with nuts should be uh, 20. i think okay that's another solution with t 